So KineMaster just released a substantial update that now gives us the ability to work not only in landscape mode, but also with square video and vertical video. They also added another cool feature that allows you to work with alpha blending, and that's really cool and worthy of its own video, so we're not gonna cover it here. But I am gonna open up KineMaster and show you how easy it is to open up and work with vertical video and square video. So if you're new to KineMaster, when you open it up, you're gonna be presented with an interface that looks like this. You're gonna tap on the plus icon over here on the left, and right away you're gonna be able to select your aspect ratio. And this is one of the new things that's inside this KineMaster update. Right away you see the landscape 16 by nine option, you see the vertical nine by 16, then you see the square one by one. For this tutorial, we're gonna tap on the center one, which is nine by 16, or vertical or portrait mode. We're gonna tap on that. Then it's gonna load up the interface that allows for vertical video. Then I'm gonna go up here to the top right, tap on media. Then I'm gonna find a video to import. Once the video loads up into the timeline, I'm simply gonna go down to the bottom left and tap on this backward facing arrow. And that's gonna bring it all the way up to the beginning. Then I'm gonna tap on the clip and it's gonna bring it up right here. And you're gonna see the tools that open up here on the right. So I'm just gonna trim off the very beginning of this. So I make sure that I tapped on the clip and you see the scissors up here on the right, I'm gonna tap on the scissors, then I'm gonna hit trim to the left of the playhead. Then it's gonna trim off everything at the beginning, and then I'm gonna tap on the check mark up here on the top right, and then I can press play to test it to see how it looks. So this is how you would edit an entire basic video. You simply tap on the scissors. You can tap on either side. You can split it down the middle. You can come in and add a color filter. I'm gonna come in here and add maybe a black and white. I can come back and I can tap again. I can add a vignette if I want. I can come in and add an audio filter, which I'm not gonna add, but if you want to, this is where it's at. I can come down to the bottom here and tap on volume envelope, where I can come through and I can actually add a point where I can increase or lower the volume along the video. So that if you notice that some parts of your video where you need to lower the sound, you can do it here and just simply scrub along with your finger and raise it or lower it as you go. This is a really cool feature. So once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna hit that top icon to save it. I'm gonna tap on the clip one more time. And if you wanna go over to color adjustment, which isn't gonna work with black and white, but if you want to, you can come in here and add brightness, contrast, or saturation. Now, before I show you how to render out this video, if you see the KineMaster watermark and you're not able to pay for it to get rid of the watermark, I'm gonna put a link to a video that I made right there that shows you how to legally remove the KineMaster watermark for free. So make sure you check that out. Now, let me go back in and show you how to render out this video. So once you have your clip totally edited, you have your audio put together, your filters on, maybe you have multiple layers of video, whatever you wanna do, and then you need to export your video so you can use it on some social media platform, you wanna come up here to the top right, tap on that, and it's gonna give you export options. Now I shot this in 1080p, so I'm gonna change it to FHD, which is full HD 1080p, and I'm gonna put my frame rate down to 24 because I like the cinema look. I'm gonna make sure that the quality here for bit rate is as high as it can go and then I'm simply gonna tap on export. Now, depending on how powerful your phone is, exporting might take a little bit longer. If you've got a newer, more powerful phone, it's gonna zip right through it, and obviously, the longer your video is, the longer it's gonna take to export your clip. Once your clip has been exported, you're gonna see it pop up here on the right. You can simply tap on the play button, and then you can watch your video and play it back with all the filters and the audio changes that you added. If you wanna learn how to make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.